Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. What did we just witness? Absolutely unbelievable. This is cricket at its best. I mean like even in my wildest of dreams I wouldn't imagine that the first game goes to super super over the second game goes to super over and the super over is tied and it goes back to another super over what is going on is just so hard like i'm still trying to find words to explain what just what we just witnessed i mean it's it's incredible this is this is this is ipl i mean like you know anyone who's saying anything about any other league in the in the world needs to sit down and take notice Yeah Your I thoughts. mean I mean uh, what's up don sorry um, uh, I mean what I wanted to say was like uh, take any sport I don't think we've seen so much drama on a day like so much drama like uh, yeah today even in football there was a good comeback against spurs yeah, but yeah. this was next three super overs in one day man <laughs> i just can't believe what happened i just felt that oh wow it's not going to end like you know it's going to go go i was expecting a third super over <laughs> but um, top draw entertainment i think uh, box office stuff uh, the whole of india um, i think the whole of all cricket fans around the world were watching i saw sam yeah. billings tweet that ipl is the best like everyone is watching this no matter what you uh who you support who you don't support what your emotions are you are watching this uh, for and this is like the best entertainment you can have and i can't believe we missed this like um, during lockdown and everything but finally cricket is back and it's back with a bang yep absolutely absolutely so we're going to try to break down what has been a crazy crazy evening uh in dubai uh we're going to start with the first game which was a very entertaining and thrilling game but it now is the lesser of the two thrilling games yeah so, who would have thought who would have thought so it's quite something right so kkr against our favorite sunrisers <laughs> both of us a little bit heartbroken by that performance a dagger to the heart today man <laughs> dagger to the heart it just it was hard to swallow today yeah so i mean started off nicely for sunrisers and then they leaked some runs in the end with morgan and dinesh karthik who are actually great batsmen they come out to bat they have a great um, uh, sunrisers come out to bat they have a great um, uh, first power play and then they start losing wickets at crucial times and then from no out of nowhere uh, some other one to take them to the super over and then in the super over they just lose it completely your thoughts yeah i think both teams should have won it at one stage um, yeah. i think when it was 18 of uh, with russell bowling the over i think kkr should have won it comfortably it shouldn't have gone to the super over for them but then when it was the four of three when one hit those three fours consecutively it should have been uh, uh, sunrises game it shouldn't have gone to the super over so it, both teams will be gutted that it went to the super over i think uh, but then after that um, i think uh, ferguson was just brilliant uh, unbelievable yeah. Yeah. It, both in the game and in the super over ex- the way he uses variations the way he bowled the yorker uh, unbelievable stuff uh, i think i don't know why he was sitting on the bench <laughs> Uh, he he's uh, he looks like the best bowler for them and he's just played a game so uh, yeah he won that game for them i think sunrisers will be gutted uh, unlucky like they fought really well yes yeah. there are weaknesses in this team but despite everything they still took it to the wire i think just crossing that line you know both with the, in the death bowling and death batting they have an issue today they almost solved the death batting with like you know one are coming two down even though it's a williamson injury uh, yeah. which forced him up uh i think running between the wickets would have been an issue for williamson so yep. that's why he went to open but um i think they almost solved that but the death bowling again like you know thumpy giving 40 runs natrajan giving 40 runs that's costing them they're missing bhuvi you can't make excuses yep. but uh, th- that's the issue with them closing out games and one also mentioned that i think that's the Absolutely. biggest problem for yeah. us and he looked disappointed for, for the first time I, in a long time i've seen him a little bit disappointed like he just seemed a little bit out of it in that presentation i don't know it just felt like that 100% i noticed that as well i think other people were tweeting about that but i think when you lose a game like that it is like it's difficult to it's control right. your emotion yeah, yeah. like absolutely it, it, yeah for sure i mean uh so, so, like you said i think you 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 kind of got all the points for sunrisers bang on i mean uh, uh there there are these issues and there is nobody it, from the looks of it that there's nothing that they can do to solve it you know like they tried khalil uh it's not working out they tried call it's not working out they tried thumpy it's not working out like everyone's leaking those 40 50 runs every game you know so that's that's really the issue uh how are they going to fix this we really don't know i mean it's just a matter of trying to figure it out uh i mean they should have they should have gone out and win that game uh that last over uh it looked like russell was not he's not bowling his regular lineup like he was still hurt pain in in pain it felt like so that didn't help for sure 
but uh, just you know like we saw two super overs here that went at least first one was six second one like 10 11 runs should give themselves a chance you know give them some about 10 11 10 11 runs something to play with in the super over but uh, i wanted to ask you a question uh, yeah. like um, if you flip it right if it was uh, sunrisers defending two runs of one ball do you think they would have defended it <laughs> in hindsight man that's so easy you know uh, to to kind of work around with like a lot of these things but um it's so hard i just, like we we discussed this even before right like um is this so hard in, to think of uh, why they didn't go for that second you know like that create that pressure yeah. on the bowling unit as well you know like i mean of course you, you could have gotten run out but that doesn't matter because it's not the last game ball of the like it was the last ball of the game right they could have created panic they could have created some pressure maybe dinesh kartik tries to hit st- uh, straight to the wickets he misses or something could have happened very easily like you know they should have def- at least definitely tried to go for that second run uh would sunrisers chase is i guess maybe depending on who the bowler is possibly you know like a good yorker could have possibly like given them uh, just one run yeah. i think that it was definitely possible you know and at that at that time it's just a matter of who holds their nerves better right it, it, it's really the skill and everything is is of course it's got to be there but yeah maybe i'm being too just, yeah, actually you're right because even in the mumbai game the same thing happened they needed two of one punjab and they just got one run so yeah. like anything can happen that's they should have tried for the second maybe but yeah it is i just felt with the, warner there they like you know was so close like yeah, you know it was yeah. it, it was in their grasp so yeah. uh, it, like i was actually really confident till the end like because uh, after he the three uh, those boundaries i thought yeah. like it's done like you know it's done, yeah. Uh, but yeah i think uh, towards the end like you said anything can happen like uh, run out we saw in this game the other game as well so no yeah, fair yeah. enough just to thought on on uh, one is batting i mean he looks uh, uh, he he's trying as hard as he possibly can because he's using his skill he's using his experience and everything but he looks woefully out of sorts he looks as he's unable to time the ball do you do you do you feel like that too 100% but i just look at it a different way i think he's totally out of form right yeah but he yeah. still is getting the runs exactly of course you know he's what i mean so that, like yeah. uh, so but he's totally out of form like yeah. if it was another batsman they would be scoring 5 6 because you know what happened they get frustrated and uh, throw their wicket but he's still giving it his 100% knowing that like this team relies on him so he's trying to still produce something but yes he's not timing the ball i don't think he's uh, adjusting to the wick, uh, the pitches um he's not t- timing it like you know um, we're not seeing those one or sixes i think uh, I, I, it's just out of form. Like he will, uh, he bats well in slow pitches as well. I've seen in India, yeah. but I just think he's not in form. But he's still producing runs, so I give him that much. Yeah. Um, uh, probably someone like a Bairstow or Williamson who are in form, I would just want to see them score more runs mm-hmm. because Warner, despite not being in form, he's still scoring 40s and 50s almost every single game. So yeah. I think uh, those two other players, if you want to be a bit critical, they might need to um, give up. him, yeah, give him that support and just go, go a bit longer in their innings. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think yeah. and i think in terms of the bowling for sunrisers i mean there is really nothing much to say uh, we we've, we've been saying this for a long yeah, time yeah. there's no partnership bowling in this team is this one person will bowl well the other one kind of uh, messes up the other person bowls well the person's messing it up so there's really not much to talk about it's just a matter of trying to execute your plans and just keep trying i guess i don't know today vijay shankar and uh, uh, was good out yeah, of nowhere good. like yeah he was very good and you don't expect that from him but then khalil sorry um uh, 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 this guy tumpy and uh, natrajan go for 40 you know so is this is this 46 for tumpy i think and 40 for natrajan so i mean it, it, we can sit and talk about this all day but it's just a matter of like we know what the issues are and the the same issues just again and again for sunrisers and unless they can fix that it's going to be hard um the only thing is that this this tournament is wide open still anyone can i mean i don't think that mumbai and uh, bangalore are secured still maybe delhi just because they've already won 7 out of 8 so it's kind of just make their life a little bit more easier but even then i think that this is just going to be um uh, something else to to and, i mean and this ipl is not over even for punjab for that matter you know now punjab's at 6 there's four teams at 6 two uh, one at 10 and i think bangalore and uh, mumbai are at 12 and then delhi's at 14 so that's Who's just, last last at 6 is i think punjab because their run rate is not that great i think mm-hmm. uh let's see really quickly because oh, no, think... rajasthan is last mm. punjab suddenly is at 6th now see that here's is... the uh, here's the thing like you know um, like punjab look out of form sunrisers losing three games on the trot rajasthan losing three games on the trot but each team has match winners yeah. so on the day anything can happen so exactly. yes it is wide open the best league yeah it's it's open because four teams are at six points yeah any of these teams can have a three or four game running streak and suddenly the other teams are difficult and kkr is i mean they had a great great game today because of lockie ferguson but if lockie ferguson's not there this league team looks 
I messed up, you know, like uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that are going wrong. We'll go, we'll get to that now, I think. Uh, but I think uh, Locky Ferguson's absolutely incredible, but still Ching. Uh, but why does he like, have to come when they're playing Sunrisers, man? Why couldn't he come the game before? <laughs> That's another discussion for another day. But um, hats off to him. Hats absolutely incredible. Like you said, he was bowling it. The Yorkers were good. The slow balls were good. And he was just a champion bowler showing his champion, um, uh, I mean, it's just champion quality in terms of uh, executing the plans that were set mm-hmm. for him. Where the likes of Cummins, who's an absolutely great bowler, was struggling. I mean, you could see that Cummins was not able to do uh, what Loki is doing, but Loki was great. And mm-hmm. uh, of course, the significant difference between both the teams was Loki Ferguson, no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little bit of, uh, I mean, th- of course, they'll take heart from this game, KKR, but um, still some issues in terms of uh, uh, the way they, the way they going about doing their business. Do you think? Yeah, definitely. Even if Sunrisers won, we would say the same thing about them. So yeah. I think because the way the game panel, both teams are very shaky. And yeah. that's why it went to like the wire, the, like very shaky. But yes, um, I feel like uh, apart from Ferguson, there's a lot of uh, problems there. Uh, today, Morgan and uh, Karthik finished it off well, but Russell not performing is a huge issue for them because yeah. he can take games away. Uh, if... Uh, if he scored like a 40-50, Sunrise wouldn't be in the game. So there are issues there, especially with the batting. Uh, Shubman Gill getting starts, but not going on with the starts. I think uh, they, uh, they do have a bit of inexperience there, but at the same time, uh, they need their like, likes of Russell to come and uh, perform. But they will get confidence from this game. Uh, still a lot of weaknesses, like you said. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Like um, uh, uh, Only time will tell if they can fix it or not. Yeah, but it, it helps that they have uh, 10 points. So they have a little bit more room for error than the bottom four who are all on six now. That's a very good so, point because they haven't played their best cricket and they're still number four. Yeah. Uh, and, they're, and they're four points clear. So yeah. if they can click, because they have quality players. Uh, sure. So if they can click, then they'll, they'll make the playoffs. But they'll yeah. need to show some consistency. Ferguson needs to play every game. Uh, he actually, um, he did better than what I expected. I knew he was a really good bowler, but the way he used the conditions, uh, used the cutters was very smart of him. Uh, you don't really see uh, bowlers like him who rely on pace do these kind of things. So it was very impressive. Yeah, four runs for 13, four, four overs for 13 runs and three wickets in normal time and then two wickets in extra time. You know, that, that's the game. He that won is, the game. That is the game for sure. Uh, it's called uh, Fergie time. It's called Fergie time. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm sure you're very well aware of that. <laughs> but, um, but like I said, I mean, uh, they have a little bit more room for error. They can, they can afford to mm-hmm. lose a couple and then they can win the next three and still go out. But I think for the bottom four, whoever wins Four out of the next five has a better, has a chance to make it, you know. So and, it's still, yeah, sorry. It's still anyone's. Uh, it's just not over yet. So yeah, and uh, one thing about KKR I wanted to mention is uh, Morgan um, Ferguson mentioned whenever I went to my run up, he was very calm and very collected. Like even in the super over, Morgan was talking to him. So I think that's a huge, huge difference for them. Yeah. Uh, maybe someone like a Punjab, like we mentioned before, don't have yeah. that. But Morgan's captain. Now that he's captain, I think he can take this team through the playoffs. Yes, he, there are weaknesses there for sure. But yeah. I think the, the captaincy, especially in these pressure situations, uh, it'll help a lot. Absolutely, I think uh, yeah, for for sure. I think that's uh, that's about it for that game. Uh, I think we don't even have to discuss about the man of the match. There's just yeah. one man. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Lockie Ferguson. Hats off to him. Uh, moving on <laughs> to the crazy game of the day, Punjab and Mumbai. What did? <laughs> What the hell happened over there, man? What was going on? Unbelievable, man. One stage, it looked like Mumbai's going to take it. Then Punjab were cruising. And then Mumbai came back into it. And then I don't know what happened. Uh, so <laughs> I, I think uh, it was the first super over. Uh, they just gave five runs, uh, six yeah. runs. I think Mumbai gave six runs. I, game over. I was yeah. going to wrap it up. I was waiting for everything, setting up the podcast. Game over. But then Shami, uh, and, uh, Shami uh, came back uh, and unbelievable bowling. I think Bumrah and Shami have shown that they're the best bowlers in India today. Uh, to yeah. bowl at the death, just give six, six runs each. Uh, I'd give more credit to Shami just because he was defending it. Yeah. But both uh, excellent bowlers, um, bowling really good uh, Yorkers today. And um, yeah, I think just an um, unbelievable game of cricket. Yep, absolutely. Like you said, I mean, uh, Mumbai ha- Mumbai kind of in the end over there after losing some early wickets were able to post a threatening total, a, a very good total. Punjab cruising and then KL Rahul gets out again at, at the wrong time. Poor guy. I mean, he's trying so hard. He's been so consistent and so good this season, but he hasn't been able to finish games off for this team, which is a little bit of a issue for them over there again. And today also same thing happened. I mean, but they were able to get it in the super over. Then the super over, like you said, I mean, Shami and Bumrah, man, I mean, 
I, I'd give Shami the man of the match just on the basis of that over. I mean, like he kept them in the in 100%, the game. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So I was like, I just felt like he was so so good. He kept them in the game, and then it goes into the second super over. And, and without that, uh, without taking a wicket, I think Dikka got run out on the last ball. So without taking a wicket, yeah. it's not like he took a wicket and slowed it down. Yeah. He just it was Yorker after Yorker. They were Perfect. both there. Yeah. They had two wickets in the bank, and they still couldn't uh, finish it. So uh, credit to him. But I think uh, Mumbai uh, missed a trick when the, I think they should have sent Pollard with Rohit Sharma or Dikok. Uh, one power player and one player like uh, like an opener. Uh, right. I think they missed it because uh, I think one boundary here and there would have released the pressure. Yes, it could have been a risk. He couldn't get out. But I feel the form that Pollard's in, um, he scored 34 like in 12, 13 balls, like in, uh, quick innings. I think the form he's in, he would have finished it in two, three balls. We saw Gale do it in the second super over. Absolutely, yeah. I think so. I think, um, I mean, uh, Gail, you know his boss, man. First ball, just, you know, take the pressure off completely in that su- su- second super over. Makes it li- makes life a little bit easy. And then Mayank Akarwala, that sumptuous short over cover drive, you know, that was beautiful. And then he finished it off with a nice one on the leg side. I mean, hats off to him. He's been also very consistent for this team. He's been scoring th- those runs, giving them those starts. And uh, well done to them. I mean, what else do you expect? Like, you know, uh, a, a box office, like you said, an absolutely incredible game. Um, Mumbai, a little bit disappointed maybe with that performance overall, do you think? Yeah, 100%. I think they would have wanted to win this game. Especially in the Super Over when they're in such a good position. Yeah. They, they should have won the game. Uh, like, you know, if they if they won this, they would have been right there at the top. And like, sh- But also, I feel they shouldn't be too disappointed because it's good to lose now than, uh, uh, like, you know, peak, peak and then lose in the playoffs. So I think yeah. they'll learn a lot from this game. It's uh, They'll just be gutted because the way the game went, it's an emotional, it'll be a really emotional time for them. But at the end of the day, I think they won't uh, look down upon this game. I think they'll learn a lot from it and I, it'll make them a better team i think this is the game they needed um a reality check uh, against a team at the bottom of the table it's a game that they needed and um, they played well they, uh, to be very honest with you last four or five overs i thought punjab should have cruised to victory in mumbai kept uh, stayed there in the game they fought so it's not going to be easy to beat this team so at yeah. the end of the day yes they will be disappointed because they lost but it's a, it's not it's, it's a really good uh, check for them absolutely i think that's a fair point uh yeah, th- this is a strong team. I mean, no doubt about that for sure. But on the other side, Punjab, after four or five games that went against them that were close, yeah. now they have two that went for them that were very close as well. So taking a lot of confidence, Anil Kumble's birthday turning out to be the change in, in fortunes for uh, for this Punjab side. Yeah, no, definitely. Like I, I, All their games have been close, uh, I think, apart from one or two. All the games have been close. And uh, they could have easily been on like 12 points right now. Yeah. Um, but they could also have been like on two or four points if they didn't win the <laughs> yeah. last two games. So um, it's just, uh, I think uh, Rahul is learning as a captain. Uh, and the, the side are gelling together. It's, it's going to take them time. But it's good signs because, you know, uh, these kind of victories... Yes, it's, uh, they made a lot of mistakes in this game as well, but it, it, it gets the morale up. And I think uh, Rahul as a captain will be learning a lot and he'll get this team together and they'll fight. They might not make the playoffs, but they'll fight. I and mean, that's good to see. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I think uh, you mentioned Agarwal, he won the game uh, yeah. with that diving that, save. Oh, uh, the, yes, absolutely, that yeah. save also is very, very important. Absolutely, yeah, what, uh, what an incredible save. Unbelievable. We saw Puran do it for them also before. Yeah. So, I mean, they have uh, they have a very good team. But the, yeah, it's just, I think they needed that mental boost because they just yeah. didn't know how to cross the line. I think these these two games would have helped them. If they lost this game, it was curtains for them. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I mean, it's good to. It's just good that every team is still alive. It's not yet. I mean, like we always mention, you don't want a team to kind of halfway, almost like a little bit more than halfway, uh, to be completely down and out. So it's just nice to see that every everyone's alive. Suddenly, Punjab is not last anymore. They're sixth now. I mean, yes, yeah, still still some time, but uh, but good for them to maybe break that last uh, break off that last spot. So yeah, definitely. I think uh, man of the match between Shami and KL Rahul. Ah, this is a tough one, man. Uh, Rahul, uh, I think, is man of the series for me uh, so far. But I'll just go with Shami because I think, like you said, Rahul uh, got out and uh, the game went to a Super If he stayed there, they would have probably won. I'm being very critical, but I have to give it to Shami because defending six uh, in a Super Over is uh, really difficult. It's, like, tough, yeah. I think think that's totally fair. I mean, like, it's it's just... just, um, 
uh, no way uh, that I would go anywhere else. So I think it has to be Shami because it, the, to hold that kind of nerve in a, such a pressure situation, you know, and yeah. just bowl those Yorkers, Yorkers so, so well, you know, I mean, he didn't give them any room. They were not able to free their arms. They were not able to do anything. It was just perfect bowling. So any mm-hmm. anything, I mean, it could have been, like it could have gone, um, that, that dot ball that he had, he tried to like open the face of the bat and it, it could have easily gone between those two fielders in the middle. But, I mean, hats off to hats off to Shami. He kept his nerve and he bowled very, very well. Yeah, I um, think for Rahul, it's a lesson as well. I think he learned from this because it's happened like two, three times now that when yeah. he's got out, they've, lo- they've almost lost the game, threw away yeah. the game. So he'll uh, have to learn from this and try to finish it off. We can't really blame him because he's been in the form of his life. But yeah. at the same time, uh, when you know that you're b- you have a weak, middle, lower order, you need to try to stay there till the end. Like you know, he exactly. did that in the last game. Uh, but then he ran Gale out. He's panicking. I think he needs yeah. to ca- be calm and like he needs to improve that side of his game, finish off games, and yeah. he'll be on that like high level uh, as a batsman. Like uh, yeah. because you know you seen a Virat Kohli, he doesn't leave a game. Ab De Villiers, they finish off games. Yeah. I think Rahul is missing that right now. Uh, but this will give him a lot of uh, confidence, and I mean not confidence, but he learned from this. I think uh, for sure. Hundred percent. I think I think that's bang on over there. Um. I think that wraps up today's games. <laughs> I think we need a break after today's. Too. Yeah, <laughs> but... man, almost like 10 hours of cricket. It went over yeah. overtime today. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, these games are not stopping anytime soon. So we yeah. have the next game going. Bring it's... it on. <laughs> Chennai Super Kings versus Rajasthan Royals. The seven versus eight. Going to be interesting. Man, I really want Rajasthan to win this game because they have such they have such a good team. Like you know, they have high a uh, high quality high quality players, but they just keep losing. The only one they they luckily beat. I mean, not luckily, but it was a close game against Sunrisers that they won. But apart from that, like you know, they should be steamrolling some teams here. But like they're struggling. Um, just need to see Butler and Stokes click, man. I, 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 I'm waiting till now. They haven't clicked, and like someone like Archer needs a bit of support for sure. Um, CSK, I think. Uh, Dhoni is there. They have a lot of experience, but this team, uh, they're not having that kind of season. I'd be very surprised if they make the playoffs and win this tournament. They're not yeah. having that season. A lot of flaws. Fielding has been terrible from CSK. Um, batsman, like, uh, you have Faf there. He's a bit, uh, he's in form. Uh, Karan is a good, uh, has been a good addition to the side. But even their batting has been slow. Like when Watson and Raidu make runs, they don't make it at a, a at a high pace yeah. so there's a lot of uh, issues there uh, yeah. that they'll need to solve uh, Rajasthan on the other hand have the quality but no one's performing so both yeah. teams are not in form uh, it'll be an interesting game uh, it could go either way I'm just backing Rajasthan yeah it's 7 versus 8 but winner goes to 5 so wow. that's interesting <laughs> yeah so- wow keeps uh, keeps this um, this entertainment and this excitement alive uh, thick and fast but yeah I, I think you you kind of like said all the important points about this like CSK just need to get the basics right and uh, uh, Rajasthan needs to just get someone right you know someone <laughs> needs to just get going you know yeah. so that'll be good for them and um, is this going to be an exciting game I think so is this going to be fun to watch but yeah to watch out for? Uh, uh, for Rajasthan uh, probably Ben Stokes. I think Ben Stokes. He's the match winner, man. If they, he yeah. if he steps up, it's game over. Uh, and one thing is that all their players, they all got to get up to starts. One needs to convert. They yeah. all make 30s, 40s, 50s. But one of these, like the Stokes or Butler, if they convert, uh, it'll be really good for them. And from Chennai, uh, I feel... Uh, I, I'm interested to see Dhoni. Yeah. Maybe maybe uh, get him uh, up to order, do something different. I, I want to see how he captains as well because he's not loose, used to losing like this. Yeah. Uh, even with Pune, they lost one season, but then they came and made finalists the other season. Like so, uh, with uh, but so I'm not uh, like I'm not. Uh, I'm a bit surprised with what's happening, but uh, it'll be very interesting to see how he handles the field. We saw him losing his cool a bit on the field as well, uh, which is rare. But yeah, I'm interested to see how Dhoni uh, captains the team tomorrow. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's going to be a fun game. Um, I mean, after today, I don't know if you've, if you've seen everything, but maybe something new. Maybe we see three super overs soon. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, and the but, best uh, thing about this league is bottom team beating the best team in the league. So, like, yeah. that's the best thing about the about this tournament. Like, you know, anyone can win at any time. So difficult to predict these games, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, it just keeps the excitement alive and kicking. Yeah. And looking forward to the game tomorrow. Who, who are you backing? Gonna, I was just going to say, I 
think CSK might come out. Man, why point. do you always back CSK? <laughs> I never really back CSK, but I just wanted to be different from you. So it keeps, no, keeps no, that excitement. No, alive. I noticed it's not that like you have a soft corner for them. It's uh, you, you, it's that Dhoni effect on you. You feel that there's something going to happen. They're going to turn it around. <laughs> like, you know, you all, you, you've been saying this the whole time that CSK will <laughs> come to the players. I'm telling you, no, it's not going to happen this year. You still might be right, but uh, I, I, you I, still I, have that fear in you. That Dhoni fear, you need to take it out. It's over, man. <laughs> <laughs> not this year. <laughs> I don't know man. Dhoni has done so much to my life that I need it. <laughs> I can't I can't um, uh, bet against him to be honest. So, yeah, no, uh, fair enough. Him. Like I mean, they've shown <laughs> sparks in this tournament when some games they shouldn't have won they won like so uh, it can happen, but I just feel yeah, it's amazing. Sam Karan and Ravindra Jadeja to win it for them tomorrow. Wow, big call, big call. Let's see how it goes. Right now, yeah. I I don't think it's uh, for me safe to predict anything. Whatever I'm saying, the opposite's happening. I don't even know what's happening. Like, who would have thought two super overs, un- uh, three super overs, unbelievable. Yeah. Hopefully, tomorrow we get four. <laughs> four and one with, with one game. Wow. <laughs> four and one game. Yeah, for uh, sure. I that I think that wraps it up. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow, and I'll yeah. catch you after. For sure, man. Have uh, uh, take it easy and rest well today. Have a good night's yeah. sleep, man. It's a busy day. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks.